Well, Carl, I'm very well aware that waiting at home with your father for how long you got home from literally doing your mechanics course at TAFE. Your father was about to turn to both of us and ask me to bed you permanently. I'm very well aware of that. I'm just as all seeing, all knowing like your father. He's also a physicist like me. And I do also know in the lesbian girl thing in Nipponese, there's a father and just one daughter. And I've never had a twin car. There's never been a failing on my right hand side. I'm like a donor child. And if I know, with no parents. And this thing. So it's a funny way to get proposed to, but you're quite right. Simon is mine in all this, <laughs> you know? It's just like, when we actually get married, your father's probably going to be the marriage celebrant, because I know he's a marriage celebrant as well. It's been a strange place where existence is futile. Well, there'll be a new word that he'll probably define for that. But everything's getting written off because of that car. We don't have to see a single face again. Apart from a couple of things I wanted to keep, like Spark here and that, that had a white driver's license. It's fatal. Completely. Zero percent consciousness, like, not even afterlife anymore. Because of that car, believe it or not. So don't worry. You sit in the back of my mind always in this. I intend to keep my promises in my life. I just have to go a different route. I'm the dying bit now to get to that point. I mean, death is never eternal, but normally things like you mean, except this time, it's everything. Even anything that rode on a bus! <laughs>